Close range weapon system practice on HMS Albion. Just some of the preparations and essential training carried out in the run up to its first deployment of 2021. Literal Response Group North. During LRG North, as it's known, Albion will be training alongside NATO and allied partners in the North Atlantic, Arctic and Baltic Sea regions. As stated in the integrated review earlier this year, Russia remains the most acute threat to our security. The UK is committed to leadership in NATO and improving interoperability with Euro-Atlantic allies. So amphibious forces will be able to reinforce allies at short notice. And this is just one of the aims of LRG North. There are Royal Marine strike companies from 4-5 Commando. They've been carrying out heavy weapons training as part of their preparations. They will be providing smaller teams of more specialist commando forces to make the task group more agile and more lethal. This is all part of the transformation of how the Royal Navy will work moving forward. The deployment will be a platform for developing strike company tactics with emphasis on Royal Marines being more forward deployed. They can look at how this works in practice. Commando forces can integrate with regional partners and test out new ways of working. Also, there will be a continuation of using technology such as remotely piloted air systems in the high north, which of course in itself is a harsh and challenging environment. In addition, HMS Albion will be taking part in Baltic operations exercise Boltops 50, working with NATO allies so it understands regional threats so it can respond quickly. It's a busy deployment and Albion is expected to be back here in Plymouth at the end of June. It's around the southwest coast Albion has been getting ready for this deployment and joining her along the way will be RFA Mounts Bay Wildcat helicopters from Joint Helicopter Command and for periods a Type 23 frigate. Bryony Williams, Forces News, Plymouth.